Hello and welcome back to another Mendip Second Club show. A little bit later this week than usual. Mm. Episode 10 and the season finale. Ooh. <laughs> Cycling quiz. Cycling quiz, yep. No no news this week apart from... 104 subscribers. 104 subscribers. Keep them coming. Yep. This, I told you we were doing a quiz, but I didn't tell you what kind of quiz we were doing. Well, it seemed it was a cycling quiz. A cycling quiz, but it's a special type of quiz. Are you ready? Big announcement. Da, 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 da. You're going to be playing Abby's House of Games. <laughs> oh, no. So, sorry. Move over, Richard Osmond. There's a there's a new a new <laughs> new person in the mix. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see my lovely animations, but it's got animations. <laughs> so rhyme time is where I'm going to give you a picture of a cyclist, and then it will rhyme with the answer to a question. Right. It'll make more sense as you start to play. So your first one is this. So we have the cyclist here, and it's the first name of the character played by Anthony Hopkins in 1991's The Silence of the Lambs. Cannibal the Cannibal. Correct. <laughs> and your next one. Springfield is the capital of this US state. Which US state rhymes with Hoy? Which US state does rhyme with Hoy? Chris Hoy, Illinois. Chris Hoy, Illinois is correct. <laughs> Just went through about 46 states. <laughs> the next one. The subtitle for the second Indiana Jones film. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Froom. No, they rhyme. <laughs> oh, Doom and Froom. So Chris Froom. Indiana Jones and, and the Temple, Temple of, Doom. of Doom. So that was That's rhyme word time. Mash. That's another rhyme. Yes, yeah, a different round. <laughs> so that those are just the three questions. Now next round, um, there's chronological and there's eight points up for grabs in this round. Um, so in this one, I'm going to give you a cyclist, and then you've got to put the events in order. That makes sense. Yes. So your first cyclist is Bradley Wiggins, okay. and your events are: he wins his fifth Olympic gold medal, he does the hour record, he moves to Team Sky, and he wins the Tour de France. So put those in order from first to most recent. Ooh, Team Sky would have been two thousand and ten. So he's got a five Olympic gold medals by 2010 because he was in Sydney, Athens and Beijing. So the Olympic gold is first, Team Sky is second, Tour de France is third and then the hour record is fourth. Final answer? Final answer. The correct order is he moved to Team Sky, he won the Tour de France, he did the hour record and then he wins his fifth Olympic gold really? medal because we have London and Rio in 2012 and 2016. <laughs> Should we have more than five gold medals before London? No. Well, not in the right place. No, none in the right place, so no points there. So your second and next cyclist is Chris Froome. So his first Tour de France win, his first Wel Welter win, his first, well, his Giro win, and he released a book <laughs> called The Climb. All right, so this is technically, because he, he came second in the Welter, and then he was given it last year, but initially that was way back in 2011. Um, he won the Giro two years ago. His first Tour de France was 2013. I have no idea when he released a book called <laughs> The Climb, but he would have done that after. So I'm going to go Vuelta, Vuelta Tour de France, Tour de France. Giro, Giro, the book. book. It is Vuelta, Tour de France, book, Giro. So two points there. Third round is And the Answer Isn't. So I'm going to give The Answer you... Isn't the third round. Yeah. I'm going to give, <laughs> I'm going to give you four... Uh, options and then one of them is false. Right. Okay, so your first topic is Giro winners. So you have Tom de Moulin, Ivan Basso, Basso? Ivan Basso. Ivan e Basso. Mikel, Mikel Lander and Alberto Contador. And Mikel Lander hasn't, hasn't won the Giro, but he the hasn't. other three have. Ta -da! That is correct. And then your next one is the UAE Team Emirates kit. So which of these colours does not appear in their kit? Black technically not a colour. They have black shorts. They have white shirts. 
and it's a blue, green and red logo. So you're talking just jersey? The jersey, yeah. Black? Black? Black. Blue. Is it blue? <laughs> There's no blue. <laughs> no blue. No blue. Next one is Tour of Britain stages. So these are stages that have been announced for the 2021 Tour of Britain. That should have been the 2020 Tour of Britain. Yeah, but now pushed back. So one of these isn't a stage. So we have Stonehaven to Aberdeen, Nuneaton to Leming Leamington Spa, Sherford to Exeter, and Penzance to Bodmin. So th these are the ones. There's only been three announced at the moment. Right. So, so Penzance, when I made this, <laughs> Penzance to Bodmin is definite because Steve Lampier was competing in um, the Tour of Britain for Team Ribble instead of St Piran, and he's just had a nasty crash and he's in a bit bit of pain, broken a few bones. So get well soon, Steve Lampier. Um, Penzance and Bodmin is a definite. I think it started in Scotland, so I'm going to say Stonehaven to Aberdeen is a def definite. I don't think you've heard, you would have heard of a place called Sherford to Exeter, so I'm going to go that's real, but Nuneaton to Leamington Spa is not. Well, technically, the one that I picked was in the Tour of Britain 2018, so <laughs> they're all, they've are all they all been stages, but you are correct, Nuneaton to Leamington Spa was from 2018, not 2021. Right. So... So last round, final round, answer smash. This is my favourite round. This is what I'm usually alright with on the TV. <laughs> so I'm going to get it completely messed up now, isn't it? So the description for this one, if you haven't played answer smash before on the telly, is I'm going to give you, well for my version, I'm going to give you a picture of a cyclist and then their name has been merged with the answer to a question. So kind of like what you did with Chris Froome earlier, but it'll make more sense <laughs> as, as we get into it. So your first one, a small strip or cube of fatty bacon. Like a lardon. Several moments later. I don't think I know who he is. <laughs> no, I don't even know who he is. No? Unless his name's Poula. He's not, no. You given up on this one? Yeah. So this is Robert Miller. Is that Robert Miller? So, it's Robert Millardon. <laughs> so yeah. you got the lard on bit right, but we need the whole thing to yes. get a point. Um, a fictional steam locomotive created by Wilbert Audrey. Thomas the Tank Engine. Geraint Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favourite ones. <laughs> Geraint Thomas the Tank Engine is correct. <laughs> Is a 1990 fantasy romance film directed by Tim Burton. Who's the Who's the cyclist? It's Lizzie Armistead, but I can't think. I can only think of Beetlejuice, and it's not Lizzie Armistead Beetlejuice. It's the one about a bride. Fantasy romance. Do you want, do you want some assistance? Is Lizzie Armistead at the front of the word or at the back of the word? They're all at the front. So it's Lizzie Armistead something. Yes. Several moments later. Can you think of a film that starts with Stead? It might not be Stead. Teed? It might be smaller than Stead. Lizzie Armour Stead with Scissorhands. <laughs> 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 Bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Next one. A long upholstered seat, typically for more than one person. Several moments later. I'd like to point out that Mum and Jem managed to get that Edward Scissorhands question. Did they? They did. It's Alex Dowsett. <laughs> Take it long enough. <laughs> so it's Alex Dowsetty. Correct. <laughs> A television show where celebrities discuss their pet hates. Froom 101. Chris Froom 101. Chris Froom 101 is correct. <laughs> A song released in 1983 by New Order. Blue blank. Well, that'd be Blue Monday, his name. It's the American Le Monde. It's Greg Le Monde. Greg Le Blue... Greg Le... Greg Le Monde. <laughs> Greg Le Monde is correct. <laughs> oh, another one of my favourite ones I made. A Mexican holiday where families remember and celebrate their deceased... Well, it's Day of the Dead. And it's Alexan Alexander... Alejandro. Alejandro Valverde of the Dead. Yes. <laughs> and then I think... Last one, yeah. A shady company run by Del Boy. What was, he, what was her name again? Brain ain't working. Work's been too bad this week. I'll try my hardest to cycle in and first cycle go. Yeah, it's Laura Kenny. Before she was a Kenny. Before she was a Kenny. <laughs> oh, no. 
just took me ages to remember her name. <laughs> it was Kenny. You literally have the clue right there. Trotter. She wasn't Lizzie Trotter, was she? You've changed it. You said Laura a moment ago. Now you said Lizzie. <laughs> oh, my brain is fried. Put the two together, man. Oh, she is Laura Trot. So it's Laura Trotter's Inc. <laughs> Laura Trotter's Independent Traders. Yes. I'll give it to you on that one. Well, right, my poor head. How did I do? So out of 22, you got 13. So it's better than, better than 50%. <laughs> Uh, let us know how you did in the comments below. In the comments. In downstairs. The com downstairs, yes. I suppose we better have a daughter joke of the week. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Comment of the week this week comes from Alan Bennett, who said, I was number 100. So thank you, Alan. Thank you for being our 100th subscriber in my day. So that's the end of season one of the Mendip Cycling Club show. Season one, if we come back for a season two, probably winter now. Winter maybe, now, yeah, maybe. Because lockdown's being lifted and everyone's um, out cycling again. Well, unless we get locked down again, maybe. then we might be back. <laughs> if there's a second wave, we'll be back. <laughs> so thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you, Abby, for entertaining us throughout the lockdown I've tried my and best. doing all the hard work and doing all the presentations that, that make up the show. Oh, look at my tan lens. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed him in the camera and thought, oh, that looks quite bad I'm going to hide my arms <laughs> badge of honour thank you for watching we will see you Sunday with a video with Pete still not sure where we're going uh, but that will be the next video we haven't got a bromance we just liked riding together and ice cream ok she was teasing me for the love song on the you played a video. love song because we were in love with the Quantox it did not seem like that it just seemed like it was a love letter to Pete. In there only. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you again you Sunday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>